Okay. Okay, so we're just going to show you today how to set up and take readings for the Ohm's Law experiment using a circuit kit. Okay. So this is your circuit kit. Um, this fella here is your voltmeter. This is your ammeter. So he's going to measure the volts. He's going to measure current. And we need two resistors. Now, these are uh, five fixed resistors here. And if you turn over the board, you can see them there. The resistors, uh, they have colored lines on them. And the colored lines, are, it's a color code. And the different colors stand for different numbers. Okay, And if you're an engineer or a technician, you'd know the color codes and you'd be able to work out what resistors they are. The fat resistors, are, they're called half watt. They take more electrical energy. Whereas these little fellas here are called quarter watt. The skinnier fellas just take a little uh, less electrical energy. If you now, know. so to set up our circuit, we, uh, we're going to use six wires. So we're going to have four nice short red. We're going to keep red just to not mix up the colors for the students. And uh, we're going to need uh, two longer ones there. And we're going to use black for them just to, for the color code. Okay, so it's very simple. We have two resistors in series across the battery. So you start from one end of the battery one wire in and it's got to go to the first resistor here okay so it goes in the resistor now the current is going to go then from the minus side of the battery through the wire through the resistor then out the other side of the resistor okay so here's your second wire to come out the other side of the resistor now i'm not going to feed this into a normal resistor i'm going to feed it into a variable resistor which is this guy over here okay a very he's a variable resistor he's a resistor whose resistance i can change by twiddling this knob here okay so into one side of the variable resistor like that. Um, my last wire then, and my next wire comes out of the middle contact here on the resistor. Okay, not this side here, but in the middle contact. Okay, and he's gonna go. I'm gonna feed him through my ammeter because I want to be able to measure the current. So through my ammeter. Now he's got to go in. The ammeter has a minus and a plus. The minus has got to be connected to the minus side of the battery, and the plus has got to be connected to the plus side of the battery. Okay. So, so far all this side, all these wires are connected to the minus side of the battery. So I continue it and I connect him to the minus side of the battery. Through the ammeter and out the other side here, and he's the plus. You can see the plus written on him there, so he's got to go to the plus side of the battery, like so. Okay, now you can see the reading on the ammeter. If I just zoom in on him there. Clear that there. Okay, so if I take it when I take that wire out, you see it goes down to zero. Okay, it's an analog ammeter, and when you plug him in, he goes up like that. Okay, now he's reading milliamps. Okay, not amps. Milliamps. Current is measured in amps. Uh, okay, and current is basically the amount of current, the amount of charge that passes through a point in the circuit every second. If you had one amp, it'd be like one coulomb of charge every second. Now this is reading. Uh, 70 milliamps okay each of these see that's it goes up in 20s 20 40 60 and uh, midway between the 40 and the 60 is 50 and then each of the little notches is m um, two two milliamps okay so he's reading and um, he's after dropping a little bit there now but at the moment he's reading 64 milliamps okay drop so, so the ammeter is connected in series in the circuit yeah so you have the battery one resistor variable resistor and then ammeter and the three of those components are all connected in series with each other. And the battery is at the negative zero, mm -hmm. 47 ohms yeah. across to the variable, resistor. the variable resistor connected to the one kilo ohm variable resistor to the negative terminal of the ammeter yeah. and then the positive terminal of the ammeter connected to the positive terminal of the battery. That's correct, yeah. And there's your, there's your 47 ohm, 47 ohm resistor there. Okay. Yeah. So they're in series, which means one after the other. Okay, the current has to go through one before it goes into the next one, before it goes into the next one. Okay. Yeah. The only other thing we need to measure then is voltage. Measure voltage with a voltmeter. So you need two long wires for this. Again, there's a minus and a plus. Okay, so one into the minus, one into the plus. Now, uh, voltage, uh, the correct word for voltage is potential difference. So what we're actually measuring is the potential difference between one side of the resistor and the other side. Okay. Now, this guy here, the 47 ohm resistor, he's actually the resistor that we're measuring the voltage across. Okay. So what we're going to do is, um, by varying this variable resistor here, 
okay, by varying his resistance, okay, I'm going to control how much of the voltage he gets from our total, which is 6 volts, and consequently I'm going to change how much of the voltage he gets, okay, so, is that a bit confusing? So, um, by varying this variable resistor, I'm changing the voltage across this fellow here, effectively, okay? I'm going to measure the voltage, and I'm going to measure the current that's going through him. So he's the guy I'm looking at, okay? Now, so to connect my, to measure my voltage, the, the minus side of this voltmeter has got to go to the side of this resistor that's closest to the minus side of the battery. Here's the minus side of your battery, so it's this side here, okay? So we just, these are, these are the connections, he just slots in like that into the hole there, very easy, okay? And the plus side of the voltmeter then has got to go to the side of the resistor that's closest to the plus side of the battery, which is, there's the plus side, so it's this guy here. So again, he just slots in like so, okay? That's my circuit complete, okay? All that remains now is for us to take our readings. So we're going to measure voltage and we're going to measure the corresponding current. So the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the resistance that we want to measure. And in this case, we're measuring the resistance here. This is what we're going to measure. That's correct, yeah. So he's actually connected across the resistor rather than actually being in series with him, which is what the current is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The voltmeter is connected in parallel. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, so to take our readings then, all you have to do is vary the variable resistor here, okay? Now, you'll either turn them clockwise or anti-clockwise, just figure it out. One direction will put your voltage here to the minimum, the other one will put it to the maximum, okay? Now, I'm turn I've turned them clockwise, okay? And my voltage has dropped right down to, let me just zoom in here. Yeah. To, um, now, this is going up in volts now, so midway between the 0 and the 2 is the 1, and each of these little notches is uh, 2 volts, or sorry, 0.2 of a volts. So he's reading 0.2 volts at the moment. Okay, so now if I have a pen, i just write these readings down. Okay, so we've got, see right there again. Okay, so we've got voltage measured in volts and we've got current measured in milliamps. Okay, so I'm starting off with um, my lowest voltage reading, which is um, 0.2 volts, 0 0.2 volts, and I'm going to measure the corresponding current, which is over here. So just this. I know it's going to see both of these guys. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Right. Now, my corresponding current is, is two notches, and each one of those notches is um, two milliamps. That's four milliamps. So, four milliamps. Okay. The volts, the notches here go up in uh, point twos. The notches on the current go up in two milliamps. Okay. Point two volts. So now uh, my maximum voltage is, um, the maximum I can get is uh, 4, so will I go up in half volts, just say? So I'm going to go up to, or uh, 1 volt, that'll be 1? Yeah. That'll give me 1, 2, 3, 4, that'll give me 4 more readings, okay? So I'm opening it now to 1 volt, so 1, you can decide yourselves what units to go up in, okay? 1 volt gives me a current of uh, 18 milliamps, 18 milliamps. Okay, going to up it again to 2 volts, okay, so here I'm reading 2 volts, 2, and over here I've got my current which is 40 milliamps, 40 milliamps, again, very the variable resistor, and now I'm up to, try to get 3 volts, now I've got 3 volts, and my corresponding current is 60, uh, 60, 24, 64 milliamps, and my final voltage reading then will be 4, can't quite get the 4, okay, it's actually uh, 3.8, okay, I've almost got the 4, 3.8 volts, and my corresponding current is 68 
sorry, uh, 78. 78 milliamps. Okay. Just should zoom out there. Alright, so there's your readings. So um, you can see you can see straight away it, they're quite proportional, okay? Um, you're gonna plot then the thing you're varying, which is the voltage, okay, on the x-axis, and the thing that you're measuring as a consequence, which is the current on your y-axis. Just remember the current is measured in milliamps and the voltage is measured in voltage, okay? And you should get you should get something approximating that, a straight line, okay, through the origin. That's good. Okay.